So here's the tight junction, and then this is the paracellular pathway of, of leaky uh, small intestine or gut. But here is through the cell, so there's transcellular pathway. Um, you know, I started getting interested in, um, in learning about this because of my interest in small intestine bacterial overgrowth. And the amazing thing was, I didn't even know there was um, transcellular leaky, leaky gut. I never had heard of that. And, um, and then what really astonished me was, I was like, you know, because in, when I was in school, maybe it's different for people who are recently graduated, but um, leaky gut, as, along with like dysbiosis and many other things, were just so amorphous and vague, and we weren't really taught specifics. And I'm like, does it even really exist? Because <laughs> because when I would talk to gastroenterologists, they would act like I was crazy to mention, you know, I, I would use like increased intestinal permeability, which is, you know, the supposedly medical term, and they would be like, I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm like, okay, is this only a naturopathic thing? And is it just theoretical? Well, so I started looking, and then I found out, oh my god, it is so not theoretical. Um, and I found there is more. there are more articles, in the last 10 years, 10 to 15 years, is when all this incredible amount of research has come out with, um, with SIBO, same thing with the structures and the functions of leaky gut and the tight junctions. And um, one of the main researchers is Ariata, and if you just put his name into PubMed, you will get over 100 articles on the most intense details on uh, the structure of, of, these, of these things. So it's amazing. It's all there. It's not theoretical. You know, we were right all along. Okay, so, so um, just the basics is that um, things can get through, like partially digested food, bacteria or their toxins, viruses and yeast can get through, and metabolites and acids, and then that, of course, we can react to and have problems anywhere in the body. Um, and that paracellular pathway with the tight junctions between the cells, anything that I just mentioned, anything can cross. Um, and the primary mechanism of action that we know of so far, at least in the small intestine, is zonulin which I'll explain in a sec. But the transcellular pathway through the cell, I have not come across in my readings, and granted there's so much more I could have read, <laughs> anything crossing that way except bacteria. So if anyone else knows about anything else crossing, I, that seems to be a pathway for bacteria to, to cross. Um, maybe something else, but I haven't come across that yet. So here's the story of zonulin. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Zonulin, you know, you start getting into all these strange names, Latin, everything, uh, and I can't remember all these new words and vocabulary. So, so how I remember zonulin is, uh, because I'm a Star Trek fan, so is, um, is Romulan. So here are the pictures of Romulans from Star Trek. In case you're not as big of a Star Trek fan as me, and you can't remember what Romulans look like, here are some pictures of, from the old, old series. And then the, the new Star Trek movie that came out a couple years ago um, starred uh, Eric Bana as a Romulan. Okay, so Zonulin Romulan. Um, okay, so here's the story of Zonulin. 